All right, well, it's day 205. I know we're back. Um, I really don't know what's up with my computer. There's 200 gigabytes of storage that's just magically being used. Uh, this thing's allocating like 2 gigabytes a second. Um, but hey, there's a ruined portal over there. Um, but I actually haven't done much. I've just gotten some more emeralds and, um, worked on the sheep farm. Uh, we've got a couple of guys, which is kind of nice. Uh, ooh, I should probably get rid of this then. These guys are going to be jumping out. Uh, but basically, yeah, I just kind of, you know, breed these guys and try to take it easy. I'm surprised none of them has taken this opportunity to run away, but... Eh, sheep do be sheep. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go try to work some more on the Wither Skeleton Farm, because, uh, you know... I, I really need a Wither Skeleton Farm. So I found this village with, for some reason, an absurd amount of wheat, and I have now decided on day 207 to completely flatten all of the area around my base, as I'm going to need it eventually. Might as well do it now. Well, we have a problem. So I've done, like, all of this, and yes, this is all, like, completely solid and whatnot. I am... dead. But I'm also completely out of dirt, so that's kind of an issue. So I guess I'm just gonna have to do a little bit at a time. I also... I want to get a cartographer to get Woodland Explorer and Oceanic, whatever thing I'm a Bob map. And I also need to get um, some kind of um, pillager outpost farm going. Just because, I don't know, villagers are being difficult. Um, but I'll try to clear this out so that doesn't happen again. But for now, we're just going to have to continue mining and whatnot. So now that we're out of resources, we gotta start mining, and that means insta-mining stone, and that means... It's good, isn't it? In the morning, I bred my sheep. In the afternoon, I mined and placed sand. And at night, I abducted more villagers so I could turn them into stone cutters. Because although you can't sell them dirt, you can sell them rocks. Okay, day 112. I just did some mining so my sheep can, like, render in. And look at these guys. They're in, like, a perfect formation. Let's see. Oh, what this means? This means a raid. This means bad omen. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. There we go. I got bad omen. kind of want to do a raid just so that I'll see what happens. You can tell I've been doing quite a bit of mining. Holy crap. The raid has... Started. Why? Oh no, did some of them fall down? Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, wait, I flew too far away. Wait, no, I didn't. Never mind. Let's get these guys. It still seems to be. Oh, well, no, we got some vindicators now. Dang, these iron golems are strong. Oh, dang it, one died. Oh my gosh, yes, fight. Distract. Let me take out the witch. No way, wait, what? Dude, this iron golem is an absolute beast, but it looks like there's another round. <gasps> there he is, the evoker. Oh my gosh, bro. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for this. I mean, I do have full prot four on breaking three, basically maxed out sword, but I don't have netherite. Which is kind of a little bit scary, holy crap. Villager, uh, Iron Golem, protect me. Oh my gosh, well, Vindicator down. And there is a totem, no way. Oh crap, this is bad. Oh my gosh, let's go, the Ravenger died. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got him, let's go. Oh my gosh, bro, it never ends. Bro, there's a Vindicator riding on a Ravager! Ah! Holy crap, they all have regeneration. What the heck is this, bro? There's four Vindicators and two Witches. I'm gonna die, what the heck? Alright, I have stake in my bow. We should be able to do something now. 
Oh. I'm just gonna try to save that man. Come on. Kind of a good idea anyways now, because I've got regeneration and I can just charge in. Bro, these guys need to chill. What the heck? Bro, look at how many vexes there are. What is this? What is this? Alright, well, there goes another one of my totems. Oh my gosh, I can get them from the bottom. Let's go. Finally. And I am now the hero of the village. So these guys had better give me, like... Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Uh, why are these vexes so annoying? Okay, um, I'm gone. Bro, 30% discount? Please tell me this, guys. Yes. I can offload all my rotten flesh on this guy also. Are you kidding me? They're still here. Well, day 215, the um, hero of the village perk finally wore off. And uh, yeah, let's just say I'm uh, almost done with my fifth stack of emerald blocks. These guys will literally throw me clay blocks, which I just then shovel up and resell back to them for four emeralds a pop. Day 217. I know it's been a while, but I discovered how overpowered Hero of the Villagers or Oh my. <laughs> Hero of the Village, not of the Villagers. But uh, basically, these guys just start throwing emeralds at you. I'm not even kidding. They throw stuff at you, and you can just immediately resell it to them. Um, so I want to find a pillager outpost now and farm up those raids as best I can because why not? On day 219, using math and I guess just Minecraft inisms, uh, I've marked out the six spots or the four spots where all of the beacons will go and if I do um, it in a specific pattern, I will have complete beacon coverage centered directly on this spot, having uh, all effects applied everywhere uh, because of math. And I also learned a really cool trick. Uh, if you jump down here and activate your light and then right before you hit the ground, you just shake your mouse. You take no fall damage because of how the elytra works. All right, so day two, two, two. I learned that with basically all of the money making methods that I can um, do for one day of um... okay well that's definitely not one day let's just get two days cuz I don't know I went to the second day before I could finish all of it so that a bunch of the guys reset their trades and let's just do this ill again okay so minus a couple of emeralds from the stuff that I couldn't really get um, I'd say I could average about 50 to 60 blocks of emeralds a day, which is really adding up as you can see. Also, all of my villagers were all buy everything for one emerald except for this guy who's still at five, but I guarantee if I cure him one more time we'll be good. Okay, what the actual frick is up with this? This guy had all ones as you literally just saw in a five or whatever. What? Dude, I'm so confused, WTF. Okay, well, here's something that I still can't grasp, like, the concept of. So I'm just digging along here, outlining the perimeter where my beacon powers are. What the heck is this? This is literally on the top layer at sea level. All right, well, as you can see, I have an entire quadrant all flattened out except for the lapis because that's important to me. And I'm going to dismantle the old sugarcane farm because, as you can see, yeah, it didn't really make a lot of sugarcane. I'm guessing because it was too small. I'm going to rebuild it over near the sheep farm so that I can at least get some auto profits i want it to be a lot bigger than this obviously and i just don't think that there's enough like space and room down here to like set this up i really only set it up here because it was next to my zombie spawner i have decided that this is where i'm going to build the farm this lava is definitely going to get in the way 
So now that this is all cleared up, I can get to work. Eh, I gotta do the, uh, the rails first. So I gotta block all this up and I gotta find something to do with this. I guess I'll just... It is day 230 and the sheep are getting numerous. It's hard to get out of the sheep pen. But besides the sheep growing, the first layer of the first section of the first, um... Uh, Sugarcane farm has been completed, you know, standard observers, pistons. I'm going for a mostly glass design because why not? And it's produced 52. All right, so I want to expand the storage system. Another row of these because I'm going to have food here, then probably like nether and like main building blocks. But to do that, I've got to clear out this, which as you can see is completely full of water. So, I want to go and get some sponges, because I feel like that'll just make this whole thing a lot easier. Well, I basically spent, like, no emeralds at all, and he now sells me an Ocean Explorer map, which is awesome. Uh, so I just gotta put everything back and figure out how these things work. Well, I wasn't even flying for, like, the thousand blocks, and we literally have a pillager outpost right here. Well, there's another pillager outpost, and the little marker just got bigger. So I'm guessing that means it's relatively close, and yep, yeah, there we go, although it's miles away from any part of land. Let's find these bozos and kill them. Oh, oh that scared me so bad, what the heck. At least I can craft a fence to get some air, and I can't pick it back up, that's wonderful. Well, here we go. This should be pretty easy, though. Holy crap, that's a lot of health. And sponge. Oh, second guy spotted. Nice. Oh, thankfully. I can catch a breather in the sponge room. Although, yeah, this is wet sponge, so... At least I know where that is now, and I can't mark it or anything. Let's find this last guy. Day 234, I just got back from the Ocean Monument. Didn't actually, um, I wasn't able to get, like, any footage or anything, because my brother came in, and I decided to give him a tour of the world. But we now have 53 wet sponge, so I'm going to go dry this out. Now that's how you do it. Alright, let's see how good this thing is. This thing is actually kind of insane. I now know why everyone loves sponges. Alright, I think that's cleared up enough for the area that we're going to be using. There's still so much cave in here, what the heck. I'm also going to try and mine the rest of this out so that we can set up an auto smelter. Day 235 was also spent mining. Day 236, I'm still mining, but I'm almost done. I've gotten one, two, and like almost three rooms done, so it should be over by day 237. Day 237, I'm beginning to work on the design, and I have a feeling this is going to look really good in the end. Day 233, and we've got the first thing kind of going on. This is looking real nice, and uh, I'm going to make it a lot better. But first, I got to get more hoppers, and I got to get more stuff, and then I got to make a collection system. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot. All right, day 240, we now have it fully working. I'll show you the inside. Uh, so we got three separate minecart tracks delivering the raw materials, collecting the processed materials, and then, um, the fuel. And then we have the raw resources and fuel input, which I'm gonna have to get some f kind of fuel farm. I'm thinking about making, like, a really cool kelp farm. So I'm gonna see what I can do with that, and then I'm going to start smelting glass. Day 141, I finished collecting up a lot of kelp, which is a decent amount. There's actually still so much out here. Kind of crazy. And there's a ruined portal, but I don't really care. Let's head back home. Well, it may not be the next day, but the sun is going down, and I don't know why I can't 
swim up here, but anyways. Uh, down here, I've got a quick and dirty, uh, whoops, uh, kelp farm, which, you know, it's not automatic, but I don't really know how to do an automatic farm underwater. It's got to do something with, like, you know, flowing water, and I feel like this is so much easier because, you know, considering how fast this stuff grows, if this grows all the way up to the surface here and I go down and harvest it, I guarantee it'll fill up my inventory, so I don't think there's a current massive need for an auto farm and I'm you know basically already filled up my inventory to begin with so I gotta I gotta do something about that but anyways uh so for all of day 242 I was AFK but we managed to get uh, a couple of uh, this amount in like you know an hour or no not an hour like less than 20 minutes I guess uh so if I just pop some of that in there and then pop all this in here uh, this should get drained, and this should also be drained, and, uh, it should be being smelted, although we can't see it. So there's definitely more kelp than there is fuel. What we can do is we can take this dried kelp, which is my first dried kelp of the series, craft it into dried kelp blocks, and then these dried kelp blocks can be used as the fuel which is amazing uh, but there's very clearly not even distribution in these furnaces I spent all of day 12 times 12 mining in the areas around my base and of course waiting for the kelp to grow I'm also gonna deal with the sheep because as you can see they're getting kinda crammed in there and they're getting a bit loud and laggy so here's the before and after as you can see, there's uh, quite a lot less, and um, I got some food, yeah, holy crap, looting three is pretty insane, and I got some more from Sweeping Edge accidentally going off, uh, but we're going to be eating mutton for quite a long time, I literally can't even fit it all in the chest. And I managed to fix up all of my, um, tools, which was nice, but back to AFKing, I guess. So day 235, I AFKed a little bit more, harvested up, and then fixed some, uh, the little design flaws with my, uh, auto furnace, and I know that I'm not really gonna be making any kind of automated system for this, so that, because it would require, you know, observers and pistons, so I'm just gonna try to get, like, a little like semi-automated collection system going up here. Uh, day 245 is just a lot of placing dirt. Oh, at uh, 246 actually, whoops. Day 247, I now have the collection system all ready to go. Just gotta place some water and have it flow all the way down in an absolutely perfect manner. Yeah, all right, there we go. We now have a perfect thing going all the way down, so let's just break all the dirt now. Shit, my leg is cramping up. Don't put that in there. Well, it seems to be the last of the blocks, and as you can see, it's just all piled up right here. So I gotta do another one, just so that it'll all flow down into one spot. But this is, like, super handy to have. Day 248, I think I finally worked out all the other, um, kinks and, um notches in the uh, collection system, but let's see if it'll work this time. Alright, so that's a fairly decent amount. Let's see what we've got in the uh, smelter. This thing takes in a lot of kelp super fast, but I don't know. Ooh, uh, nine at a time, that's actually pretty good. Uh, but uh, the uh, dried kelp blocks aren't backing up a whole lot yet, so I really don't know how much I've got to keep this up for. Well, the sun rises on day 249, and I'm going to do something that I've wanted to do for a while now. I'm going to fully empty my inventory, load up on rockets, and go farm as many hay bales as I can, because I'm going to need hay bales for the floor of my uh, food section of my storage, and I'm going to need it for more uh, sheep breeding and for cow breeding eventually. And of course, I'm always gonna grab some of these ruined portals, but let's see how much we get. Ah, 
and through the night, even though danger was afoot, I still farmed. And there, the sun rises on day 250. Time to head back home, I guess. Not before finding some more, though. And this is why you always double check that you got all of the hay bales, because these things are profitable and very nice for the sheep. Well, it wouldn't be a video without me dying at some point. Let's see where I spawn in. Okay, now nah, it's not too bad. All right, well, rip 71 levels, but I swear that was lag because, I mean, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I, that, that was honestly lag. But in total, we ended up getting four stacks and 55, which I'm gonna have to sacrifice a lot of to lay down the pattern on the floor here. I'm pretty sure I want it like this. And it's day 250 and my computer's being weird and running Minecraft at 1 FPS, which is why I died. So I'm gonna have to do something to figure that out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna figure all of this block placement out and end the video. Alright, bye.